The true purpose behind the parameters of mounting distance, match teeth, and backlash is to ensure that the teeth are contacting each other properly. By following the manufacturer's specified variables during installation, the tooth contact should be ideal as manufactured. However, it may be necessary to verify the contact pattern of the gears once they are installed in a gearbox. The process of checking and interpreting the contact pattern will be described in this section. To begin, you'll need a few materials, including a brush, marking compound, a piece of cardboard, standard clear adhesive tape, and cotton swabs or toothpicks. For the brush, this can be a small paint brush available from any hardware store. However, you'll want to trim the bristles to about one half inch in length. When trimming the brush, it's a good idea to make the cut with a slight angle or bevel. As for the marking compound, Aero uses a special orange colored marking compound paste during the inspection process. However, this is usually only available in bulk so it's not a good option for the occasional user. As an alternative to this marking compound, you can use a substance called Prussian Blue. Prussian Blue is typically used for the layout of dyes to check for contact. Prussian Blue can be obtained from a number of industrial supply distributors such as McMaster Car or at many automotive parts stores. It may also be referred to as high spot marking paste. To begin the process of checking the parts, apply a small amount of marking compound to a piece of cardboard. Then spread out the compound on the piece of cardboard with the brush. This is done to achieve the proper consistency, not too thick and not too thin. This would be an example of not enough marking compound. This is too much. And this would be the proper consistency. Next, apply a uniform coating on the teeth. The coating should be just thick enough to cover the surface. There should not be any lumps or bare spots. Here we see an example of too much marking compound. Here we see not enough. And here we see the desired amount. Once the marking compound has been applied to the tooth surfaces, roll the parts together in both directions. Five to ten rotations in each direction should be enough. And here we see the contact pattern that results. You may want to document the contact pattern. The easiest method with Prussian Blue is to shoot a close-up photograph using a digital camera. Another method of documenting the contact pattern is achieved by pulling a tape of the pattern. While Prussian Blue is readily available and suitable for a visual indication of the contact pattern, it does not always work well for pulling contact pattern tapes. If your chosen method for documenting the contact pattern is the pulling of contact pattern tapes, Aero Gear recommends that you obtain gear marking compound. Because of this, we will be using marking compound in the following example. To pull a tape of the pattern, place the tape on the tooth surface. Then smooth the tape with a cotton swab, being careful not to smear the marking compound. Next, remove the tape and place it on a piece of paper. You will need to do this for both the concave and convex sides of the gear tooth. This illustration defines the concave and convex sides of the gear.